is our second war of the poor. It's the extreme bartending invitational uh, pro-am, meaning we've got a pro side and an amateur side. You know, no matter how long you have to prepare for it or how long you know it's going to happen, as soon as you get here, all train of thought leaves. You have no clue what's going on. You're behind the bar. You're spilling stuff everywhere. Nothing's coming together. And it's pretty intense, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of people show up for it. It's really good. It's totally a brotherhood. I love to see the guys that aren't uh, in competitions as often as I am do well because just to see the look on their face when they come off and have everybody screaming for them, I get to say to them, see, that's what it's all about. To tell you the truth, uh, it's just one of those things that people scoff at, oh, a bartender is a career. But I know bartenders who are my mentors who are independently wealthy now, and so I look up to them. There's flair bartending, there's Olympic, there's freestyle cocktail, whatever you want to call it. You can throw lots of things in the air and you can make it look cool, but can you do it without spilling? Can you do it without slowing down? And can you make, you know, can you make everybody happy? The thing that's so great about this industry is no one's really secretive, you know? They don't hold back their moves. They just, you want to see something? Hey, how'd you do that? Oh, come on, man, I'll show you for sure. Like, yeah. I'll show you how to slow it down, make it look cleaner, everything. I've been bartending for probably about 10 years now, and uh, I just love it. I love meeting people. I love serving drinks. I love it's like it's like you want to go out and party, but you don't want to spend a bunch of money. So hey, why not get a job and make money instead? You know, it's great. You know what? At the end of the day, a professional bartenders in a busy bar can make more than a doctor. Uh, people don't realize that, and, and they don't realize that uh, a guy that uh, takes the approach that a professional athlete would to their job um, can really uh, do well. And these are young guys that are taking their careers very seriously. They know with flair they can make top dollar in the top nightclubs, wherever they are. They can travel all around the world and do it, and uh, so they're making some money and uh, building their skills. I can't see myself doing anything different. Of course, I want to have my own bar one day. That would be key. But uh, for now, I'm only 26 years old. I've been doing this since I was 19, and I couldn't imagine doing anything else. I played, uh, I played basketball in high school. I went down to Washington State on a, on a basketball scholarship, and that was great. But when I, when I came back, it was like, what do I do? Do I go pump gas, or what do I do? When you're playing Division One basketball, the onus is on you to, like, you know, to take charge. And I love that feeling, and bartending does that for me, because I'm there you know, to, to provide entertainment for sure, but the biggest thing for me is that I'm taking care of the people. And uh, it kind of made me feel like I was on the court again. To tell you the truth, sometimes we snicker at each other and look at each other when we're working and going, I can't believe we get paid for this, it's almost not fair.